this is happening again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not supposed to be on my period yet, but just like last month, I'm having it twice a month, and it's lasting longer than usual. I'm really worried that something is wrong. I don't want to tell anyone because I'm so embarrassed that this is happening. Abnormal uterine bleeding can refer to amenorrhea, irregular periods, or infrequent periods. It can also refer to the menstrual cycle being fewer than 21 days or more than 35 days, or a menstrual flow greater than 7 days. It also includes abnormally heavy bleeding and bleeding between cycles. Is that you, Anne? Taylor, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so embarrassed and I don't know what to do. Well, we've been friends forever. You don't have to be embarrassed. What's wrong? Well, I've been on my period a lot lately. It started out being once every three weeks, but now it's twice a month, and I'm really scared that something is wrong. Well, have you messed around with Jake? I mean, you could have an STD or an infection or something. We have fooled around a few times. Well, that could be it. Or I did also read an article that said that bleeding down there is a common sign of cancer. Cancer? Stop! You're freaking me out. You need to tell your mom. Yeah, you're right. I'll call her tonight and hopefully she'll know what this is. Although endometrial cancer is a rare possibility in younger females, more common causes of abnormal uterine bleeding include pregnancy, miscarriage, hormone imbalances, uterine fibroids, systemic illness, stress, polycystic ovarian syndrome, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, thyroid dysfunction, or the use of antipsychotics or antiepileptics. In the absence of illness, excessive physical or psychological stress, or a body mass index of less than 18.5 or greater than 25 are associated with abnormal uterine bleeding. Amenorrhea is generally associated both with underweight and obese women. Because obese women are generally associated with polycystic ovarian syndrome, they tend to also have irregular periods. Hi honey, how's your first semester of college going? Hey mom, my roommate Taylor and I are getting along really well. School is crazy, but I'm surviving. Good, I'm happy to hear that. So how is everything else going? Mom, I have something to tell you, but I don't want to make you nervous. I've been bleeding like I've been on my period for several weeks out of the month, and it's been heavier than normal, and I'm really worried that something is wrong. Taylor thinks I have cancer based on a magazine article that she read, and I'm just really scared. Oh, honey, don't jump to conclusions. Have you even seen a doctor? No, I haven't. Okay, well, when you come home this weekend for your sister's birthday, we can go to the nurse practitioner that I go to. Don't be worried. We'll figure out what's going on, and it, it could be something that's easily fixed. And I wouldn't even worry about it. We'll get it all figured out. It's probably not even something that's a big deal, okay? Yeah, you're probably right. Come in. Hi, I'm Rudy. I'm a woman's health nurse practitioner here at the clinic. Hi, I'm Anne. Anne, it's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm Anne's mom. Erin, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so Anne, tell me what's going on. Well, it's kind of embarrassing, but I've been bleeding a lot more than normal lately, like I'm on my period, and it's been lasting about nine to 10 days at a time and about twice a month. Okay. Um, Anne, do you mind stepping out for a few minutes and yeah, get asked uh, ask some questions? Okay, I'll be right outside if you need me, okay? Right, thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just going to ask a couple questions here. Are you sexually active? Well, my boyfriend and I have done it a few times. Okay. Well, um, pregnancy is usually my first suspicion. So, we will still uh, we'll still test your HCG levels just to be certain that you aren't pregnant. Um, and we can draw some blood in order to run some other tests as well. Um, this will include a complete blood count with a differential, and that will let us know if you have any like platelet issues or anemia from all the heavy bleeding. Um, let's go ahead and test your thyroid levels for hypothyroidism. 
Um, this can actually contribute to abnormally heavy bleeding um, and prolonged bleeding as well. Um, and hyperthyroidism, which can cause amenorrhea, which is lack of bleeding. So it'll give us those numbers and values. We will also take a prolactin level. Um, that'll check for pituitary tumor. Um, if these levels all come back normal, then I'm just going to assume that it's probably just a problem with your progesterone and estrogen levels. Um, and that can be difficult to monitor since they fluctuate with your cycle. Okay? In addition to lab work, common assessments when presenting with abnormal uterine bleeding include a pelvic examination or a pap smear. The healthcare provider will also look for any signs of trauma, cervical polyps, or abnormal tissue growth. Come in. Hi, Anne. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you. How are you feeling today? Good. Good. All right. Well, to start things off, let me tell you that you aren't pregnant. Thank goodness. So I'm sure that's a relief. Mm -hmm. um, I got your other blood tests back, and they've all showed that you don't have any abnormal levels uh, relating to your thyroid hormone your prolactin, platelet counts, they're all fine. Um, as I suggested before, I, I suspect that it's probably your estrogen and progesterone levels. Um, we can balance these out by doing a few different things, okay? So, your options right now are oral contraceptives, a transdermal back patch, or a vaginal ring. Um, these are the first-line treatments that we usually use for adolescents and young adults. Uh, do you have a preference as to which form of birth control you prefer to use? I prefer the pill. The pill? Okay. Well, then I will prescribe you uh, Loestrin 24-FE. It also, it's a birth control pill that has an iron supplement with it as well to help prevent anemia from, the, um, from your bleeding. Um, you're going to need to take this pill every day. It's important for optimal control. This is also going to be a long-term treatment, so we don't want to take you off of it until you are ready to conceive. Um, I want you to come back in about three months. Um, to evaluate how effective the medication is for you, okay? Um, if your symptoms don't subside, then give me a call and we can have you come back in sooner, okay? Okay. All right. Some side effects of low estrogen 24 FE include abdominal cramping, breast tenderness, acne, dizziness, fluctuations in weight, and upset stomach. If any of these symptoms become severe, you should contact your health care provider. If you experience shortness of breath, swelling and pain in the lower extremities, numbness or weakness on one side of the body, contact your healthcare provider immediately, as these could indicate severe complications. Well, I'm so relieved that nothing is wrong. I was so worried that I had cancer or something. I will set an alarm on my phone so that I will take my pill at the same time every day. Sounds great. If you or someone you know is suffering from abnormal uterine bleeding, you are not alone. Seek help and call your local health care provider as soon as possible. There is help available and nothing is too embarrassing when dealing with your health. Okay. And it's been lasting about 9 to 10 minutes at a time. Mm. 